size paper minimum you can have more than that too and it should be card paper not necessarily if you don't if you couldn't order if you don't have it you can even use a normal printing paper which is thin because we will be making a card out of it so just take this paper on your base or the table keep it width wise as you see it is quite wide i want to make it a little small so i'll just use my own judgment to cut it a little i'll use a scale and a pencil hope you all have it it was part of the requirements if you don't have it you want to grab it you can still go and let me know just kind of cut it a kind of square or little bit less i am going to mark i am cutting this or this much part of it just try to draw a straight line <laughs> we would need a scissor to cut through it we will use just this part of the paper so have your scissor and start cutting it through the line that we have drawn so i have taken this much of the paper and kept the other aside we don't need it if anybody hasn't done till this step please let me know otherwise i'll continue um i did not finish finish okay. i'll wait for a minute so i'll start with it we just have to make a card so you can cut you can fold this paper any ways like this or like this mine is almost the same size on all the sides so i am going to cut it uh, sorry fold it from the middle can it be any size just keep it uh, i'll just show you keep it almost this much size because we have to fit in the flowers we we have to make around 3 flowers so this much size mine is almost this much size okay don't keep it too long because you have to fill in that space too with all the quilling decoration that you will be making so i am just folding it from the middle like a card and this can also be used by you to gift to anybody on any occasion to your loved ones they'll definitely like it so this was an easy step i should continue with the main part that is quilling you all must be having the paper strips and the quilling tool So this is the quilling tool that Excuse we will be Excuse me what side should it be on That's what I'm going to tell I am showing it from near you have two sides one is a little pointed it has something on it you don't have you to use this you have to use the other side where it has a slit in between 
just like a needle uh, when we use it to sew we just put the thread in it here it is a small slit and in which you have to put the strip so that you can start rolling with it the strip so it's all about rolling quilling is more about rolling on the pin if um, anybody can, can it be like this too uh, the other side um, no um like um i have other stuff like um like it's like the same stuff except it's just smaller size like this it's okay does it have a slit in between it's easier to hold it hold the strip so that yes, you can it does it does okay so you can use it it can be any size but you should have that it's easier for you to do it so i will be taking a paper strip you can there are so many paper strips in it you just have to take out one nicely out of it like this i'm taking a yellow one you can take any color that you like we are going to make a small circle by rolling it like this this circle can you wait one minute yes Now should I start? Does anybody else want to wait? Okay. So I will start. Varun is asking to show me the fine show him the final product. Varun this is the final product. But we will have some changes in it. We are just learning the basics. so this is let's start with the first step i'm zooming it i have to put this strip inside the slit here is it clear to everyone yes it takes a little time to put in for me it does here it is inside just put a little part of it inside this lip initially you need a needle but when you become an expert in it you don't even need a needle you just start it and you keep on rolling with the finger so here it is put inside this lip i've just you you must be seeing i've just put some part of it inside it and i will just fold this part which is peeping out of the slit like this like this just i just folded it around this pin and now i'm going to roll it like this i'm going to roll the pin like this is everybody clear i'm just holding this strip a little tight with my finger index finger left finger and i'm rolling the pin like this you don't have to be so tight in it because you have to take this roll out of the pin too keep it a little little loose not that much loose that it comes out even before we roll it keep it medium and keep on rolling keep on rolling till the end of the strip you just have to roll the pin and the strip will roll on its own along the pin excuse me when i was trying to roll it kind of came out well so can you like it so i need to like kind of put it back in yes can you, you can put it yes i can cuz it's kind of hard that's why i said don't keep it too loose just use your finger to make a grip so that it doesn't come out excuse me Yes. So I've done paper quilling before and 
I made these two things. I made this octopus. Can I have your name? Rhina. Okay, Fernanda, can you show me? Can you zoom I made in? this octopus. Yes, yes. That's good. That that's an advanced thing you have done already. I thought I and should just mermaid. Yes. I will also show mine, which I have done, but I wanted to teach the basics. So you mm -hmm. have done really good. Thank you. That this must be very easy for you now. So should I start? Does anybody else want me to wait? After you put the slate. Can you please wait? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Can you please wait? Okay. Till which step are you? Or should I do one thing? I just keep on rolling and you can do this step. This is this, just the first step that we have started. I have a question. Yes. Um, so I came a little bit late and um, I don't really know how to start, like how you first roll it on to the um, actual pen. So could you- I can teach that? that, but I don't want to take this out again. I'll just tell you, if you don't follow, I'll be repeating the step again and again. So you will be able to follow. It is just, you must be having the, the quilling instrument, the blue one, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you have the strip. Yeah. Just take the one side of the quilling tool, which has a slit in it, and put uh, yeah. put the strip inside that slit a little bit, keeping out of the other side, not the mm -hmm. whole of like half of it, just a little bit out of the other side, just like we put a thread in a needle. Okay. And the part with the little part, which is on the other side, just fold it around the pin. And then keep your finger like this in, uh -huh. uh, at the back and start yeah. rolling the pin. Yeah, she's talking to somebody else because they can away. If you start rolling the pin and keep it a medium, no, don't, don't do it too tight or don't do it lo too loose. Just keep on rolling the pin, keep the grip so that this entire circle doesn't come up. Okay. Thank you. So I'll be repeating it. It's just repetition, so you will be able to follow later. Okay. I'm done um, making my circle. Okay, that's good. I'm also doing it. So I'll be moving to the next step only when everybody is done with this step. Initially, it'll be a little slow for you. But is this later good? You... Can I just complete it and see? You can just keep it. Uh, what's your name? Tweesha. Wait, you had to do the whole entire strip? Yes, we have to do the entire oh. strip. I am done with the rolling. But I want to tell you that when you take this entire roll out, please be careful because you have to take it all out at once. So for that, can you just see the screen first and then you can do the part that you are doing? I'm just putting my fingers, two fingers bes in, uh, besides it, like here under it. And I am putting my thumb on the top of it. So I am just taking it out slowly. So this entirely comes out like this. So remember we are making a circle, the middle circle of the flower. So we just, we don't have to make it loose. We are going to put glue on this end so that it can, it can stick in and remain intact. So we'll be repeating this two, three times to make a small circle within the flower. I'm I just done. Okay, that's good. I'll be I want to show it. I'll be seeing everyone's. Let me just glue mine so that it doesn't open. Wait, are you supposed to glue it? Yes, that's what I'm oh. saying. To keep, it, to keep it intact, you have to glue it so that it doesn't open. Like, like how do you glue it? Just 
put the glue at the end of the strip. I'll just show you. The end of the strip where you had rolled it till the end, just put some glue. I'll just open it again. Here I put some glue. Hope you're able to see. And I stuck it here. So it's the roll. Did everybody understand? If not, I can, I'll be repeating it again. So please, if you want to show, you can show it. Is it like this? Who's this? Meher. Meher, I'll come to you. I saw Mahi's, it's good. Twisha, it's good. Mahi, Meher, it's good. This? Sanjana, it's good. It's the simplest of all. I think somebody even glued it on paper, Soumya. Or you just put it on paper. Yeah, it's good. So we should do come to the next step. So that this circle, it remains on the paper. We should actually glue it so that it, you do not lose it somewhere. Uh, we have this design. So if you want to follow this design, you can follow it. I'll keep it here only. And I am going to put the circle here. I'm going to glue it here so it doesn't go anywhere until the end of the art. So I'll put it here to, to start making the flower. So we'll do something that we'll quill it and start sticking along. So I'm putting somewhere at the corner. I'm putting glue at the end, the other side of it. And putting it here. And let it rest there, it will stick. Press it. So it stays there. So we'll be going to the next step. It is similar to the first one. It's just one difference that I'll be telling you. So if, if you want me to continue, please give me a thumbs up. We're not ready yet. Okay, are you sticking it? My brother needs help, so I'm doing it for him. Okay. This is a two session project, so we are we will be able to finish it. We'll be doing about half of it today and half of it tomorrow. So I'm continuing. If if you still want me to wait, uh, either I can just repeat the steps. You can follow, or I can wait even for a minute. Yeah, Nairan Harpita, we see it. Nice. Krishna also is showing. So good, good. You guys are catch are on track. Yeah, and you can use your own colors uh, colors of your choice you don't have to be very particular about the colors that i am using so i am taking the next strip now and i am going to do the same step putting the strip inside the slit and start rolling the first step that we did please repeat the step with the other color paper strip we are going to make a petal So it is inside it and I'm rolling it the same way I did before. Devjani, is the screen good or it is a little blurred? It got it's good now. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. 
Keep on rolling the same way as you did before. Remember just to roll the pin, it becomes easier. I'm almost at the end and I'll be taking it out. So another roll is ready. I'll do the next step only if all of you have completed this. Don't stick it yet. Does anybody want me to wait or should I come to the next step? Can you wait? Can you wait? Can you wait? Can you wait? Should I come to the next step now? Do you glue it or do you just take it off? You don't have Can to you glue wait? it. Can mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. You don't have to glue it yet. Otherwise, Can you'll you make wait, another look. Yeah, sure, I'll wait for a minute. You don't have to be uh, in a hurry because we'll be making the same flowers two, three times. So it's the same, same steps you have to follow. But don't glue it, otherwise you'll make another round circle. We have to make a petal. I should move to the next step. No, please, can you wait? My brother's not done yet, can you please wait? Yeah, sure. I'll just wait for one more minute, but then I have to start. At least we have to finish our half of the project today. And if you're left with it, you will have the video. OK, so I'm moving. Please don't worry, you will be able to finish it. Just see what I'm doing next. I'm just, I'm not uh, gluing it. I'm just putting it on the surface and letting it to loosen up a little like this. It is opening up a little. I'll zoom it up. It is opening up. Let it open up a little so that it becomes loosened and we can make a shape of petal from this strip. I so, Yes. Um, did you glue it at the end? No, I haven't glued it. Don't glue this. We have to loosen it. It should become a little loose. It should open up so that we can make a petal. We can shape it as a petal. There are some other instruments in your kit, but I don't want you to use them right now. Just want to teach you the basics so it's easier for you to do. I think this much it has opened up. Now you can see it's loose. Now you can glue it till the point. If you want to make a bigger petal, let it lose more. If you want to make this much petal, just pick it up and let it be this much loose only. Don't tighten it. Just put some glue on this part and stick it. So I'm sticking it. Um, mine did not turn out that good because it was already loosened at the first because in the beginning when I put it in, it was like kind of hard so it kind of like didn't come out that good. Can I see yours? What's your name? Is it Twisha? Twisha. Okay. 
Can you show me? You just roll it. Roll it with your hand only. Roll it till the end. Let it remain loose because when you'll make a shape of the petal, it will come out good. The first oh. one might might not be that perfect, but later it will come out good. The other petals. Actually, the first one was perfect. Yeah, the round one is perfect, but when you loosen it, it, it might change some shape, but it's okay. So I am gluing it like this. It there are there are spaces in between. You can see as compared to the yellow one which I made, it doesn't have any space in between. It is quite tight. So from this, I am going to make a shape of a petal. If anybody wants me to wait, please let me know. I think everybody is done till this step. I should continue. So Can you wait. Okay. Can you wait? Yeah, sure, Trish. Yes, it's good. Just let it be more loose, Trisha. Put it on your surface, on your paper. Don't stick it yet. Yeah, Trisha, it's, it's good. You're making a bigger petal? So I'll move to the next step. It quite, it's quite easy. You just have to hold it from both your hands with your finger and the thumb and press it a little to make a pointed part like this. If you want to make both the sides pointed, just press the other part too. And this is the petal. It's quite simple. Just press one side a little and press other side a little, little and it will come out to be a droplet kind of petal. Uh, do I have to also press the other side? If you want to, to make it as a... Press one side. And if you want to make it both the sides, Point it, just press it on both the sides. I have pressed it on both the sides. So this step is to be repeated again and, and again for the petals. Ronak, I saw yours, it's good. Next thing uh, I saw, Trisha, it's good. Tia, it's good. You're following it nicely. You all have made a nice petal. Anvi, it's good. Samya, it's good one. Raina is beautiful. Mahi, it's good. Anaira, it's nice. All of you have followed it. it it's the basic step. And if you have followed this, you'll be able to make a good flower. So next step is you must be knowing you have to stick it around one part of the petal of the circle, the inner part of the circle like this. I haven't stuck it yet. I'm just putting it to show you. So this is how it will look. Just put glue on one side of the petal and put it here and press it. That's it and keep it aside until we make the next, next petal. Now put not that much of glue so, so that it doesn't peep out of the other side of the petal. Just put a little bit so that it's enough to stick. And place it. I am placing it diagonally. I think we'll need about five or six petals for each flower. It depends upon how big you make the petal. So the first petal and the rounded part is ready for the flower. Now we have to repeat 
since we are making one flower, I think the petals should be of one color. I'm using red and I'll repeat the same steps again and again. You can see if you haven't followed the first step. So I'm continuing with the next petal. So uh, we're just continuing making the petals, right? Yes, we are making one flower. Here. The first petal is done. We might be needing about four or five more petals for this flower. So I'm making the next petal, rolling the same way. You can still see if you haven't followed it earlier. I am taking it out of the needle and I'll be gluing it. I have loosened it to make the next petal and I have even put the glue. I'll be making the next petal and then I'll wait for a minute if anybody wants me to wait to do the step again. Though it's the same step we have to do for the petals. Is this good? Trisha, can you show me from a little far and hold it from the sides? Like this? this? Yes. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's a nice shape. Komal Anera wants to wait. Okay. Okay, I, I that's what I said. I'll be making this petal shape and I'll be sticking it and then I'll wait for a minute so that if she wants me to do the step again, she can see. I have pressed one part to make a tip and I have pressed the opposite part to make a small tip. So this is how the second petal looks like. The design inside may vary a little, but when you put it as one flower, it will look good. It won't look different from the other petals. I'm just gluing it and I'll wait. And if anybody has any doubt, want to show me till now, they can show me. And I am putting this petal in the opposite direction of the first petal that I have put around the circle, like this. Trisha, it looks good. Did you make the shape of the other petal or is it round? I did make it, it's not round.
कोमल यूर ऑन म्यूट कोमल कोमल यू वेंट ऑन म्यूट यूर ऑन म्यूट see the parents helping it looks good joan it look it looks good it is the right size and shape thank you a nice color thank you welcome Shivangi, can you show it a little near? Can you put a little near? Yes, it's good. You made a droplet kind of shape, right? Is this good? Can can we continue making our petals? Yes, who have done till this step, they can continue. Is the around you'll need six petals or five petals as they fit around your circle. It depends on the size of your circle and the petal. It's, it's okay if I do five petals, right? Yes, if it fits on your circle and the petals are quite good to fill in the space, that it should be five. So I will. If anybody wants me to show, I can see Anvi. It's good. And then I will do the next step. Okay, so I am taking another red strip and rolling it and making a petal. I have put it inside the slit. and i'm rolling it um i finished my um next one so can i like yes you can make a complete flower because today the basic thing that we are learning is making a flower Okay. The next thing to make will be leaves and swirls. So you can continue. Whoever has done. Now I have rolled it. I'm taking it out of the pin and loosening it. Next thing is to put the glue. and make the petal shape can you wait yeah sure i am just doing the same shape i'll just stick it and wait for a minute if you want now i'm gluing it on the card around the circle just keep this thing in mind that when you stick the petals one petal should be opposite to the other petal then it is you'll have a better judgment how many petals you need for that particular flower so i have stuck the third petal if anybody wants to show they can show then i'll continue with the next one prisha it's good you can unmute yourself and tell that you are ready to show so that i don't have to scroll
So I'll move to the next petal now. And you can let me know whenever you want me to see your flower. These paper quilled art can also be framed later in a shadow box kind of frame. I will show you tomorrow some of the examples so that you can use this art further to add more creativity to your designs. Now I'm rolling the next petal. I've taken it out of the pin and um, it's just loosening up. And I'll put the glue again. And stick it around. And then again, a petal shape. And stick it on the card. I will stick it in the opposite direction of the third petal. Can you wait? Yeah, I'll wait for a minute. Are you done with your fourth? Are you still on your fourth petal? Yeah, I'm trying to make the shape of the petal. Okay. Yes, Trisha, it looks good. So you're done with the fourth petal. I'll continue with the next one. The same steps again. So I'm making another petal. Your voice is not clear. Can you say your name so that I can find you? Can I have your name? Uh, your voice is not clear. I can't understand. Is it, is it Anaya and your video is not on? Anaya. Do you want to? 
do you want to type in case your voice is not coming clear and turn the video on please okay i saw your name yeah you can show me you made the flower that's good that's beautiful so you can move to the next flower but if you want me to, you want to wait for me please wait you you can type your message to me because your voice is not clear you can continue with the next flower too with a different color that you like hello mama um my flower me? needs six petals okay so can you me. wait for me until i do my last petal yeah sure even if you are a little bit not paste the it's okay you just have to complete a flower and i will wait till i move to the next flower can you hear it common no your voice is not clear it's breaking up yeah oh, but your video is there like can you can you type what you are saying i can it, it, it's 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 in fractions whatever you're saying it's coming in fractions anaya can type what you want and then we can uh, komal will respond to it i'm moving to the next petal my flower also needs six petals oh i'm on my six flower i'm in six petal okay so yours and mine is similar i think tuisha even i need six petals yeah so after we complete the first flower if you want to show me please unmute yourself and let me know i mean mine a little different cuz there's no two petals on top there's only on bottom okay so it's just the circle that matters how how big your circle is very nice riva we see yours very nice very pretty Um how many flowers will be will we be making today? Uh it depends upon the time. I think three flowers which I have already shown in this design. So three should be good. If we are able to complete three flowers today in this session, then we will be learning the swirls and the leaves is the same thing as the shape of this petal but just the same a uh, different color. and if we have to, more time i can teach some more part of quilling so i'm on my sixth petal that will complete the first flower sticking it to the card yeah nice fran we see it is it fran yeah i'm keeping some space in between because we'll be adding swirls to it if you want to you can keep some a little bit gap in between the flowers otherwise it's also okay
when it's good. So if you want me to see your first flower, please show. Can you see my flower? My name is Joanne. Okay. Can you show me? Yeah. Good. Yeah, good. It's really good. You've covered the, the nice. circle nicely. Thank you. Sanjana, showing her. Yeah, Sanjana, it's good. You've used a blue color, right? Good. Prisha, it's good. Nice color choice. Is there anybody else showing? Soumya is showing. Mm -hmm. I'll just... Uh, yes, Soumya. Yes, you use the same color as mine. Who's this? Soumya is beautiful. You've used the same colors as mine. I think Joanne is moving to the next step. So, if you want to repeat the flower, you can do that. If you want to learn the swirls like this, I can also teach that before moving to the next flower because you have done it really good. I think we can learn the next thing too. So if you want to learn the next step, next swirl, please do a thumbs up. Excuse me, can we use different colors? Yes, you can. Uh, for for what? For like the next flower? Yes, you should use a different color. But if you want to learn how to make this round, we can first do that. You can add it somewhere here. And then we can move to the flower because you have already learned the flower. You, It's easier for you to do it. So we can learn something new and then continue. So if you are done with the first flower, I can start with a swirl. For this, you will need a green color, a light green or a dark green. So if you all are ready, please give a thumbs up. We are moving to a new step. So I would like if you will see first and do it. I think everybody is busy. Tia and Trisha, it, it's good. So I will move to the next step. If, if you still want me to wait, please let me know. We are not making a flower next. We are making a kind of stem for the flower, which is a little swirled or rotated. Wait, for the stem, are you also going to be using this? What? Which, uh, is it Soumya? No, it's Swisha. Okay. Can you oh. show me? So, like, when we're making yes. the stem, is we're also going to use this? Yes, we are going to use this instrument throughout. Oh, Lisa, are we going to use it for everything? Yes. It's a quilling. It's the main thing to be used in quilling so that you can roll it nicely. Oh. So, I am moving to making a swirl. You have this big, I'll just unzoom it. You have this big strip. Just cut it into half. Fold it. Oh. Oh. And just cut it. Just take one part. How many parts do we fold it in? 
just can you just wait one. yeah sure twisha i'm just on the first step i just folded it once from the middle and cut it into half okay you... oh, how do you cut into half you might just cut it from here yeah kind of half even if it is less or more it's okay can you repeat that yeah you just have to cut a portion of that entire strip into half we don't need a big strip to make this kind of swirl like i'm showing on the finished product so i should start with it it's the same step put this inside the put the strip inside the slit can you repeat that the cutting part or the twirling part everything the uh, cutting part like you this. just have to you just have to take the strip and cut it into half we don't need the full length take a green one because we are making a stem or this part of this flower i am rolling it i'm only rolling it till a particular point like i'm not rolling it fully so please see first like we roll the other petal and the round inner part we rolled it entirely but here we have to roll it to a particular point i'm rolling it till here i'm keeping this much space left and i'll take it out like this now Can the way we it? yeah sure have you rolled it twish twisha so i am moving to the next step just the way we had kept the circle down on the surface to loosen so that we can make a petal same way just keep it on here and let it just loose like this this is a simpler form of this one i am not rolling it fully just a simpler form so that this part remained rolled and this part remain open you don't have to put in much effort you just to have to roll half of it and keep it loose like this you can keep the roll big you can keep the roll small mine is not opening that much so i'll keep it this much like this so i will we have now here we have to put glue on one side entirely this is a very thin strip so just put a little little of glue all on this side where we have to stick it on the card i'm putting it the where, where i have put some space in between two petals i'll be putting it in this direction and sticking it here so just put a little glue on one side you can even use a brush or a finger to just spread it or the tip of a, a pencil to 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 just spread the glue all around so i think i have in case some part is still left you can glue it later too so i am gluing it like this
you can keep the middle cir circle big or small. You, while sticking it, make the shape a little rounded. Like this, I'll just zoom it. Excuse me, can we make the next flower now? Excuse me, um, mine is not going to be this way. Can I see what's your name? Trisha. Okay. Can you show me, Trisha? It has to be this way. It's okay. It's just okay. Hold it. It's not. Oh. Yeah, you can you can just make your own shape. But if you want to curl it, just curl it from the other side, which is not rounded. Just curl it a little with your finger. And when you put the glue and stick it, just make it a little rounded like this. Komal, it's 4.05. Do we want yeah, it? We yeah, we can take it. But mine's not sticking in the break. Let me stick it. You can do that. You just have to put it, put the glue lightly at the end. You can even use a pencil tip to put it, to spread the glue. We will take a five minute break. It's 4 06. We'll reconvene at 4 11. Okay. And then my water. Hey, did you know um, that I could even make my swirl in this? If it didn't come in a good circle, I could just squeeze it over here. Is it Trisha? Yeah, show yeah. me. You can do that. I was not using that part because I wanted to teach the basic. But if you want to put it inside it. But here we are just rolling up one side of the strip. We are not rolling entirely. So how will you put it inside that? Yeah, but I meant for like the middle of the flower. Middle, yes, you can use it. You can. I was making it simple for everyone so that you don't have to use much of the instruments. Benia, you did a blue flower? Yeah, very pretty. Is it okay if like we start doing another flower during our break? Yeah, sure. If you don't want the break, you are okay. You can do the next flower. Start with the next flower. Okay. Thank you. Welcome.
I think we can start. Okay, and thank you. Thanks, Kumi. I saw everybody were uh, was busy doing the next flower. I think they didn't even take the break. So that's really good. So I will start with the next flower. Now you all will be knowing it, how to make it. So keep on continuing make the next flower. I am using an orange color as a circle. Can you wait for me? I need to use the bathroom. Yeah, sure. I am just excuse me. I I just came. Um, what are you doing? We are just making the next flower the same way as we did the first one, but with a different color. You can okay. do your own choice. I'm making this inner part of the flower, the circle. So we just have to keep it tight and glue it. So I'm just gluing this, the circle, and I'll glue it on the card. I'm putting it around in the middle on the left side of the card. And I'll start making the petals. I'll be using yellow color. If anybody wants to show what they have done till now, I would love to see. Please unmute yourself and let me know your name. Trisha, you have done the first flower. My, my name is Joanne, and you can you really see if mine is good? Yes, beautiful, Joanne. You are you are using your own creativity, your own colors. And your own Thank direction you. and putting them. It's good. Thank you. I was seeing uh, Anya, it's good. You want to use green, you used green color for your flower, right? Now use some different color. It will look more colorful, but till now it looks great. Tusha, I saw yours. It was good. Uh, or is it breaking? It's still breaking. I can't hear you. Is it Anya? Okay. Uh, I can see. Yeah, I wrote message in the chat. I can't understand, but you can still show what she has made if you want to show. Your video is on. Um, Anya, Anya wrote on the chat that she forgot to get the kit. She's okay. cutting paper and making it. She'll okay. color it later. Yes, we, we saw the message on the chat. Yes. Okay, that's good. But I can see till now how much she has made. Or Yeah, yeah. So I'm moving to the, to the petal. I am using a yellow color for the petal. I'll continue making. If you want to show any time, please show or have any question. My name is Mahir and is mine good? Yeah, I'll see. Mahir, it's good. Nice colors. And you're using, you made four petals, right? In the first one? Okay. Try to make some more petals in the next one. It looks more covered and more colored.
I'm using the I'm I'm making uh, yellow petals for the next flower and an orange dark that is uh, orange color in the inner side. Try to use a contrast like I used a lighter color for the first one and darker color for the petals. Same way here. The other way here is that I'm using dark color in the circle and lighter color, yellow color in the petals. So it looks more colorful and more vibrant. Oh, is it okay if my orange is a little light? No, it's okay. It's okay. I was just suggesting, but if you like or what you have, you use that only. So I'm taking out the circle and making it a petal now. And gluing it. And I'm gluing it around the circle on the card. Moving to the next petal. Can you wait? Because I had to glue it. Okay, you can continue. There's no need to wait now. I think you've become an expert in it. You will be able to complete. I'm just doing the same steps. Can you wait? Because I just started doing my other. You, uh, you are doing your second petal now? Is that Trisha? So I'm on the next petal. I'm gluing it again. If you are you have completed the second flower as well, you can show it. Now I'm doing the third petal. My third petal is almost ready.
sticking it and shaping it. And then sticking it on the card. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, so my iPad ran out of battery. So um, and I was trying to join from my computer. So um, how do you do the swirl thingy? The swirl thing. Okay. Yeah. Can you have a green? Just have your green strip, either light or dark, mm -hmm. and it to half. And cut it from the middle so we just need half of the strip okay and next thing is the same way just put it inside this slit of the this pen the rolling pen and roll it from one side just the way we did the petal or the circle inside. And roll it till here, like keep this much of space. And keeping it intact, take it out. How many um, petals do we have to make? It just depends upon your size of petal and the circle. I think I think five to six should be good. I mean, uh, sorry, not petals, flowers. Flowers, uh, since this is this much of size, so three flowers should be good. If you want to make more, you can, okay. because you can also start making the leaves if you want. Okay, got it. So I was, who had asked about this swirl? I didn't ask the name. Rhina. Okay. Raina, so are you done till here? Mm -hmm. Now, the way we had left the petal, like the circle on the base, just to loosen so that it can just lose, lose up. So I just kept it like this. It can loosen up like this. I glued it. Uh, Raina, did you glue it? No, my brother did. I didn't do it yet. So loosen it. Just loosen it. So this is the shape you got. Uh -huh. Try to keep this part also a little curved with your finger. Like this? The other end. I am not seeing you just. Yes. Can you show me? Yeah, like this. Like this and put the glue like I have made this shape like this mm -hmm. so glue it on this size uh, on this side just put a little bit of glue this is a thin part just put little bit and little bit glue on this circle so that you can glue it since I have made it I'll also glue it with you you can spread it your, with your finger or with the pencil or a brush and can I just close this down on the back? I am using it to put somewhere here. If you want to make a shape while gluing, just make a little curve like this. Are you clear, Rana? Mm -hmm. Is anybody talking to me? It's not clear. Um, I finished my second flower. Can I see? Is it uh, who's this? 
or Sanjana? Sanjana, it's it's good. You made a white flower, the second one, mm -hmm. and a yellow inside. Uh, it looks good, but when you see it on a white sheet of paper, it's not that uh, vibrant. So try to make another color now. It looks good. The shape is really good. I can still see it. But on a colored paper, a white flower looks much good. So now try to use some red or pink color. That will add more beauty to it. But the shape okay. is really good. Okay, thank you. Welcome. So I am coming to my next petal. Can you wait? Vishat, what flower are you? Like which petal are you at? Second. Okay, so I'm also on the second one. I don't think I need to wait. I am on my fourth petal. You don't have to complete it today only. Just take your time. We still have tomorrow. We might add something new if we have some time. So tomorrow we can finish our um, picture. Yes, we can take a picture till now as well until we are finished till the till five o'clock and later we can take the other picture tomorrow when it's complete. Okay. So I am making the fourth petal. And I'm gluing it. If anybody wants to ask anything or want to show, they can show. I'm done with my second flower, so can I make another stem? Yeah, sure. Can I see yours? Who's oh, this? Yeah. Joanne. That's really good. Big, colorful flowers. You can make the next stem. Okay. I made mine already because I was teaching Rana. Okay. Excuse me, I'm done. Is mine is mine good? Can I have your name, please? Tweesha. Tweesha. Tweesha is really good. You even finished before me and you were asking me to wait. It just... <laughs> when you were teaching I finished everything. <laughs> <laughs> Tweesha, do you do this at school too? 
<laughs> Excuse me, I'm done. Who's this? Ronak. Right. Can I see you? Very pretty, see? Ronak. I like your pink and uh, blue flower. Pink with yeah. five petals and, sorry, red with two. Four, yes. sorry. Thank They're you. very neat. Very neat. Thank you. Riva, very pretty, Riva. Six petals yeah. and five. Yeah, it's yeah, Riva, it's very colorful and neatly done. Yes. Komal, next time keep Trisha as your uh, assistant. <laughs> <laughs> True. Mm -hmm. No, she picks up really nice, but she is good at asking questions. It actually. Yeah, yeah she's very cute. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> and she's like, can you wait? Can you wait? <laughs> and she herself completes it first. <laughs> Excuse me, what is this? Well, uh, is it Trisha? Yeah. I'll just see. These are pins, don't use them. These are oh. not, not to be used for you. So Trisha, you can move to your next stem or you can make a swirl. I will like finish my stem. Okay, so you can make one Same. more flower or or you can make like the way you made this shape of a petal with a colored color, like a yellow color. Now you can use a green color to make the leaf with the same steps. I don't want to make a leaf. Okay, then I'll teach. It's the same steps, but with a green color. Oh, which green should I use? I have dark, white, and even lighter. You can use dark now because for the swirls, I think you use the light colors. Okay. But I'll be moving to the leaf only, though it's the same step. Excuse me, I'm done with my second flower. Okay, can I see? And, uh, and what's second your name? Swirl. And second swirl. Is that Samya? Yeah. Can I see the, See yours? Yeah. Uh, sorry. It's so, so beautiful. It's very neat, Samya. Are you doing it for the first time or you have done it before? First time. Oh, that's really good for first time. Thank now, you. so you can move uh, with a swirl or a leaf, but I will teach you. Or either, or if everybody is ready, I can teach you the leaf. Though it's the same steps, but I can make it with you. Okay. So give me a I'm just going to clean up my desk for now. Okay. So let me finish up with my petal and then I'll come with the leaf. Um, is this going to be our last thing or are we going to do one more flower? 
We are going to do one more club because we have so much space to cover. We are making a yeah. card which you might give to somebody you like or you want to give. Are we going to make a little background? You can make a background with colors later. Once you can use. Finish it. Yeah, you it, can use. Is a yeah. is a leaf kind of like a petal? Is it is it is it a petal? It is the same steps as a petal, but just in green color. Okay. I made a leaf already. Um, so where do I put the leaf? Can I see yours? Who's this? Joanne. Yeah, you've made the leaf, but there is a lot of gap in between them. Still, you can use this. Try to try to keep the gaps a little less less in the next uh, leaf you make. The shape is good. It's like a leaf. Can you show me your entire art so that I can suggest where you can put the leaf? You can put it on the stem, on the side of a stem, as if it is coming out of that green part, the swirl. Um, can I go to my third um, flower? Yeah, you can. I was thinking of making a leaf, but you can move on to the flower because the leaf is same as a petal. Yeah, I did the leaf. Okay. So if anybody wants to make a leaf with me, can make along. I'm taking a dark green color. So I'm just making a round circle around the pin, just as we did for all the petals and the circle. Is it the whole way around? Yes, whole way around. The whole, this uh, strip has to be swirled, just as we did for the circle and the petal. We don't have to leave any space but you don't glue it once you make the circle. Put it on the surface on your table and let it loosen. So I've just made it this much loose and I'm going to put glue on the side to, to make it intact. And I'm going to make the same shape as I made for the petal, just curving it a little bit like this, like a mango. Like a mango shape, I'm doing it like this. Like this? Uh, Tusha, is it Tusha? Yeah. Yes. But you have kept, no, it's okay. I was not able to see it clearly, it's good. It's good. Now you can put it somewhere here. I'm going to put it here as a leaf, as if it is a part of this plant. So I'll put the glue on one side as we are doing for the other shapes. So these are the basic shapes which I'm teaching and which can be used further by you to make more designs. Like Raina showed her art. These are the this is the base with which she made those designs as well.
So I've put the leaf, I've stuck that leaf, and we can make one more leaf to put somewhere here. Um, so, so, um, I didn't really click leave meeting and it, and it left. So, and then I thought that it was over, so I left and I didn't really see, see, um, what you did after it left. So, till, what have you done? Like, till which uh, step have you followed? Okay, you've made the flower, you made the swirls. The next, you can make one more swirl here. You can make like the way you did this, make like this, make the same way and stick it here. Exactly the same way. Can we make the next flower? Yes, you can, but make it with a different color. Okay. I'm going to use light blue for the petals and dark blue for the circle, the inner circle. I was actually going to use light blue for the circle and, and the petals of dark blue. Oh, that's, that's good. That's a good combination. Dark and light. Did you put a leaf? Yeah, I have put the leaf here. Now I'm making one more leaf with a light color. I'll put it here. I have two yellows and I have used a lighter yellow already. So I'm going to use a dark yellow. Yes, and you can orange. Make, yeah. I was going to suggest orange for the circle. So where should I put my other flower? You can put it on the down corner here. Okay. Just the way you put it here, leave some space and put it here. <laughs> so I'm making a light color leaf to put on the second flower. How do you make that leaf? Uh, can I know who's this? Can you please say your name? Your voice is not clear. Can you type? I just heard that uh, you were asking about leaf, I think. So I just made the same kind of circle the way I made a petal. I shaped it the same way as a petal, like this. So it's just green color and same shape as the petal. If you're still not clear, you can type because your I, voice is not yeah. clear. Om, Om, you're frozen, so you you can type or you can rejoin. I, I think your screen is frozen. Okay. So I put the leaf on the second flower as well. So now all of you might have stepped up to the third flower. If anybody wants to show till now, can show me. Or I'll continue to the next flower. You all are very busy. Vanessa is showing. Can you show me? 
It's really beautiful and a nice choice of colors. So I'm using a dark blue color for the next flower, for its inner part, the circle. Excuse me, the leaves are very hard for me, so I don't want to make a second leaf. How are the leaves hard for you? It's the same way you made the petal. But like they're hard to stick because they keep like go like getting messed up you can make it again because the leaves will also be part of a plant the flower stem and the leaves so try to make one more or open the same one and make it again i'm going to make a petal you can see how i'm making the petal the same way you have to make a leaf it sometimes does get messy this is mine i want to show mine this is the best I could do. Oh, I just heard someone showing. Can I have your name? Prisha. Prisha. Yeah, it's it's really good. You even made the leaf. Yeah, very pretty, Prisha. Yes, yes nice colors and very neat. Thank you. Welcome. You can make another leaf. So this is the center of my next mm -hmm. flower. Mm -hmm. Putting it around the corner. And I'm moving to my petals. Twisha, you can see my petal again. So you can make a leaf with a green color. I'm just rolling it again. I'm taking it here. I'm done with my last flower. With this? Dungeon. That's really good, Sanjana. And you are so fast. Now you've used a red color and yellow. It's good. It's bright now. You can make another stem. Or you, instead of a stem, make a leaf. Did you make the leaves? Okay. Wait, um, what, like, where should I make the leaf? Can you repeat? Where should I make the leaf? Can I see yours? Uh, can I have your name? Sanjana. Oh. Yes, Sanjana. Can you show me? Show me your entire art. Yes. So where should I um, put the leaf? Uh, the way I have put it here, you can put it in between the stem, the swirl, and one of the petals. Okay. On the white one, you can do that. The okay. white one. Okay. I'm just... Sticking my next petal.
Moving to my next petal, I think today we'll be able to complete the three flowers. Uh, I think some of you have even completed it already. Now I should um make my my stem for my red flower, right? Yeah, you made the leaves. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can make the stem. It's quite easy. Thank you. If anybody wants to show, I would love to see. It's such a pin drop silence. Everybody is busy. You are so into the quilling. Do you guys want to show your artwork? Is this good so far? And my name is Mahir. Show. Sure. Show Mahir. I'll just check. So we have a yellow uh, flower and, and a red flower, Mahir? And a purple, I think. Purple? Nice. Yeah, and Prisha good. has uh, purple and red. And is, mine, is mine good? And my name is Joanne. I'll just share. Yeah, Joanne, very colorful, Joanne. 
Thank yes, you. So we are on to blue so. as well. Yes. And then we see Sanjana's purple, white, and red. Super yes. cool. Um, excuse me, is it okay if I don't add uh, too many leaves, just like one leaf? Uh, it's better to have more leaves because we have to fill up this space. You don't have to make them all today. We oh, can okay. complete it tomorrow as well. Or you want to complete it by seeing a video today, you can do that too. So it's better to make the leaves. I know it, it takes patience. So you can have a break. Okay. Okay. So anybody else wants to show? This quilling art requires a lot of patience and I can see you all have a lot of patience in doing it for two hours and you have completed almost more than half of it. Do we need extra time uh, today or what is the plan or because we have tomorrow? Yeah, we don't need extra time. We I think oh, I just complete this flower. Yeah. And and then we can take a picture till now if we can yeah. take three. Baby. Can you see mine? Wait, wait. Uh, guys, I'll tell you to hold up. Let Miss Komal finish this one. Then I'll tell you to hold up and we'll take a picture. Can I yeah. quickly make the stem? Can you, can you repeat, Trisha? Can you I quickly make name? the stem? Yeah, sure, you can make it. I'm making my last petal. You can make your stem. So I'm almost finished with my last petal. And I've stuck it to the card. Trisha, are you done with your stem? Yeah, I'm done with it. 
Okay, so Devjani, uh, we can yeah. take a picture. Okay, so can you wait for one minute? Sure, sure. Can you wait for one minute? Mm, all one minute of each from each of you would be 30 minutes. <laughs> I will wait one minute and then we'll click, okay? Ooh, okay. All right, hold up. Whoever has done, hold up or else we'll do it tomorrow again, okay? All right. Excuse me, I'm on my last pedal and I'm failing. Okay. Soumya, you have yeah. done already some bit, right? Hold up for now. Yeah. But like my quilling is like going to unroll because I'm quilling one right now. Okay, okay, do it. Okay, the others are holding. You keep doing it, Somia. No worries. I will okay. take more. Okay, guys. One, two, three. Hold. I'll take one more. One, two, three. I see nice smiling faces. Can you smile? Yes. Good. Awesome. All right. Great. So, Kumal, are we ready to close now or what do you want? Okay, was I muted? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I... I just saw it's unmute. So I was just saying that we can finish up today. Like we can complete the rest of it tomorrow. And I think I'll have to add something more to it. Yeah, there is a lot of time. Maybe we'll think to it, guys, and we'll, we'll see what we can do to close the session, okay? Okay. Can I see the, um, the finished copy that you already did? Can you take a picture of mine real quick? Who is it? Say your Hello. name. Joanne? Joanne, hold on. Let me find you in the screen. Joanne has blue, pink, and orange. Oh, okay, okay. Let me take one more. Joanne, yes. Okay. Okay. All righty, guys. Somebody was asking for the finished products. Yeah, I'm done now. let me do the speaker view, okay? Hold on. Okay, okay got it. Got it. We'll just see. Yeah, I'll just keep holding. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody was saying to see the final product. So I'm just showing. I didn't I didn't ask the name. Are we gonna add any like details to Somia, don't keep moving. You're moving. Yeah, that's enough. Don't move. Yeah, we will be adding some details like here are the swirls that I have put and there are a number of strips together. So I wanted to teach you tomorrow. It's a little complex to, to make it and stick it. Okay. So these are some details. Yes. And if we have time, Komal, we can do something fun tomorrow for 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah, sure. We we'll think we'll... of something. We won't tell you guys now. Okay. Okay, so, so we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Have fun. Bye. 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 Bye.